Hello traders, welcome to the Probine Airbox YouTube channel. For today's video, I selected two comments from my YouTube channel. Both of these comments asking for how to develop a bot trade like six fact method. Can you develop a bot that will trade one direction for a given number of times before it can change direction to another? And the other comment is at least do one for alternating trades, first trade put, second trade call. The trade put slide price. So I will show you today how to develop this kind of zigzag bot or alternating trades bot. So first I'm going to the options website. You can find the link in the video description. If you don't have an Android account, you can open a free account here, or else you can log in to the bot platform by clicking here. I can develop this bot in eBot platform and also in binary bot platform. But for the easy demonstration, I will develop this bot in binary bot platform, but you can still use this same bot in eBot platform also. First I will reset this bot. Then I change in the market to continuous indices and volatility tag index. I will keep the type as rise and fall. First, I will show an easy trick to take put and call trades alternatively. So, what I will do is I will go to logic. If then I am going to choose my SC number of runs. Then I am going to map like this. You can call block and connect it to this if here. Then I will connect this here number of runs. If number of runs even, purchase rise. Else purchase four. I will run this bot. Okay, we can see that bot is taking call and put trades alternatively. So this is the easiest way to place put and call trades. But in this comment, he is asking develop a bot that will trade one direction for a given number of times. So here we can set only one trade. So I will show how to set given number of times. So first I will create a variable for that. Number of continuous trades. I will set this number of continuous trades. Let's set it to go here for now. I will create another variable, trade count, then I will take this change and change this variable to trade count. I will delete this code block here. I am going back to logic. If so we, here we want to set our first thread. So I will create a variable for first thread. I will set our first trade to rise. I'm going to text and take this and type here rise. Then work logic, take this order and connect it here. If our first trade is equal to rise. Go to default purchase, purchase rise code block and connect it here. 
then I will duplicate this and connect it here. And if I spread this small, I just fall. This is for the first step. Now I'm going to logic and take this if code block and connect it here. Again, logic, take this code block and connect it here. If our first thread, no, I will change this to thread count. If our thread count is equal to number of continuous threads we set here, we want to set this thread count to zero. Then again, go to logic. If if our first thread is equal to rise, then we want to set this first thread to or. I will take this code block here and duplicate this set. First thread code block here, make it here, and I will change this to nice. Now let's run this code and test. What should place two threads in one direction? Okay, two four threads. Okay, we can see that both is working fine. First two call threads, then two put threads, then again two call threads. And let's check whether this is working. I will change this to small. After changing this to small, what should place two put threads here? Okay, what is first taking put threads? So this is how we can develop uh exact bot even you can change this number of thread counts to three i will reset this okay and float again Okay, but it's changing the thread type after three good threads. That means the bot is working fine. And here you can change the market also for the mobility index. And also you can change the thread type also. You can change this to digits and or D1. When changing the trade type, this second code block is getting changed, so you have to fix it again. I'm changing this to code. I will clear this log and run this bit again. Let's see.
okay but the first three or trades let it change to digit even trades as like this you can change the market as a last trade type also if you want to add martingale and compounding for this same bot you can go to the play binary guide playlist in pro binary bots youtube channel here you can find a video for how to add both martingale and compounding to one bot you can watch that video and if you want to download full developed zigzag bot you can go to the other options website and you can go to binary bots here yeah, under the all products page you can filter pro binary bots as the developer then you can find the products that i have uploaded here yeah, I have uploaded a zigzag bot. You can download this through data. In this uploaded bot, you can change the market. You can change the number of continuous trades. And you can change the initial trade direction as we developed in this video. And you can change the initial stack. Then here I have added Martingale split also. You can set how many parts the martingale amount should be divided and your payout percentage means for the rise and fall trades you know that from case 96 percentage profit that's it here and you can set take profit and stop plus here and last you can place a random integer for number of ticks so you can download this full developed six bot through Options.com. I will place the link in the video description also. And that's it about for these two comments. Let's meet it another video. Thank you very much for watching.